Hey, y'all. There's four things that I often get that just tickle or shock the mess out of most people. The first one, of course, is my resting bitch face. Um, not much I can really do about that. Some people's faces slant at the mouth a lot sooner than others, and I almost always have a very serious facial expression or a scour. Not necessarily a bad mood, but I look like I don't care. Um, the second thing is my height. I'm 5'4", so for some of you that's tall or common height, but for quite a bit of you, I'm a small fry comparatively, and it almost always shocks people. The third thing would be my voice. Uh, it's very big, bassy, raspy, hoarse, however you want to refer to it, um, <laughs> in comparison to a lot of people. So when people see me and they hear my voice, they're like, oh my gosh, can you sing? Or do you work in radio or anything? I get a lot of... A lot of interesting questions and the fourth and final one are my uh, are about my breast <laughs> so as a young lady I was very much a tomboy my mom would like to put me in dresses and things of that sort and I don't quite like the phrase tomboy I like the phrase I wore what I was comfortable in um, I have an athletic build naturally uh, that's the grace of genetics, but that doesn't mean the areas don't get soft and squishy and fat because, I mean, I am a woman. We are supposed to have some squish upon us. But uh, growing up, I did dance for the majority of my life. I played sports here and there and things of that sort. Where it wasn't very tall, but I was always, you know, fairly muscular and things of that sort. And um, in fifth, no, sixth grade, sixth grade, I left for the summer and came back a totally different size. I was a solid A cup and I came back in the course of the summer, and summer is not that long, as a C cup, a C. And uh, teachers used to ask me if I was stuffing my bras and get attention from boys and things of that sort because hey, you know, everything a female does is for the attention of a boy. Um, but that wasn't the case. This is this is what mother nature gave me. But definitely, I got that lovely little contribution to life. So <laughs> um, years go by, I continue to dance. My body continues to develop. My chest continues to get larger and larger. So by the time junior year came, or perhaps senior year of high school, I was substantially, distractingly large. Ladies and gentlemen, as a woman who is just roughly two weeks shy of another 30-something birthday, I did not stop growing in the chest area until I was 25 years old. That's just... That's agitating, especially when you didn't plan on having, you know, what you, you got going on. At that point in time, I believe I was a D cup, just just one D at that point. And we had a we had a, an assembly or something of the sort concerning scholarships because I went to Cass Technical High School in Detroit. It's a college prep school. Might have heard of some people who came out of there, like David Allen Greer, Diana Ross, uh, Big Sean. It's a dope school. Cornelius, if you watch um, Scandal, he was my English tutor for a while. <laughs> so I've attended school with some very amazing people and hopefully sooner than later, I will be acknowledged as one of the amazing people to come out of my high school. We had an assembly talking about the benefits of scholarships and at a college prep school, you usually do apply early. The assembly is talking about all the things that you can do concerning finances and everything. And some of us got called out in the audience to come up on stage and help spell out the word scholastic. I believe that's what it was. Had to be. It was a lot of us on the stage and I ended up with the letter T. Mind you, I could be extremely off about what this what this word was. I just know for a fact that Ashley had the letter T at the time. So the MC or the assembly leader, whatever they're called at that point, uh, he's doing his thing, explaining what each letter stands for and whatnot. And he gets to me and he said, all right, ladies and gentlemen, and the letter T stands for, and someone in the audience could not withhold it and yelled out, Tays! I graduated with 696 people. There was at least 700 of them in there that day laughing as I held the T in front of the things the Lord gave me. What do you do? What do you do? You do this. 
so I Kevin Hart faced it before there was even a Kevin Hart meme to use. Um, I went on my Facebook page. I sent a message on my status like, I'm probably gonna regret putting this on here, but I need to know if somebody can remember well over a decade ago, which one of you fools decided that was the day to holler out the blink head big tatas like the whole world don't know. We all know. Nobody responded to that Facebook post at all. I feel like the bell is like taunting me like a school bell right now. I've never gotten resolve on who the person was who said it, but it most certainly was said. I most certainly remember being laughed at, and I definitely remember going from 1D to 2 to 3 to the current size that I am now, which is an F and a G cup, which is, for the love of God, why are your breasts that big? Um, I know there's people out there who purchase big boobies. This wasn't the goal for me. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Um, but I am careful about talking about it. Be careful what you put out there in the world because sometimes it could come back as something far detrimental and I'd be terrified if I ended up, you know, having breast cancer and having to fight that. It is a desire of mine to have a breast reduction. Uh, at some point in life, I will. And if that experience happens, I believe I will share some of that on this YouTube channel. But for the most part, y'all only see me from here anyway. You have to go to live events to see me. And even then I'm wearing black usually because my colors are black, white, and red. So, you know, that kind of condenses it. But yeah, that's that's the T is for titty story. I hate the word titties a lot. Um, I'd rather just say breasticles. <laughs> I'd rather say breasts or boobs. I just, I hate the T word, it's so jacked up. And I, I just, I got an idea of who said it and one of these days, I'm going to catch them and they lie. And when I do, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bye, y'all.